all type color drops for the Infinity Pro Speed Shorts. As you can see, they come with these. I would size up a bit what you would normally get for because of this. I'm I'm wearing an XL right now. So yeah, all of these are XLs. We have a plethora of colors. Uh, you see my hair is cut. Cut that hoe. And we got some deadlifts and things today. So let's go. Actually, I need to put some pre-workout together. We got this box of Rule 1 Pre, or a brand I'm trying out, along with EHP. And um, there was somebody else I was talking to, too. So, but anyways, let's take some Pre. I like this because it's purple, and purple is my favorite. All right, so let's talk about this. This is a test booster, bro. This hoe has been immaculate since week one, and I'm not even bullshitting. This is not a sponsor. I don't know this brand, but I grabbed this from this brand. Um, try some pre-workout too, and some of this. They're in like a lesser known brand or whatever. Um, I don't know why. I just got spinach. I was like, oh, spinach in a capsule, and I just I just picked it up for whatever reason. And then this is the homies brand of Vision Nutrition. These pump caps are crazy. So definitely give those a try. Once again, I am not sponsored by anyone. Anyone as of right now. So all of this is just, you know, yeah. And then I've been taking Laxogen on and off for a while um, from REPP. It is apparently, it's a plant, plant-based steroid. Um, and yeah. So it's not hormonal, um, and I, I mean, honestly, ever since I've been taking it, I feel like, like hard, like harder, like, how do I explain this? It's just harder, like leaner muscle feel, you know, like tighter. So boom, mixed with this, but these two, like together, boom and boom, yo, definitely, you know, but we are on some pre-workout right now. Um, like I said, I have a whole package of of samples and things that they sent out to me so shout out to you rule one um we got pre-workout orange pineapples what else we got they got some plant-based protein which is always good train bcas plus electrolytes i'm actually need that and you know yeah they got actually like a whole bunch of stuff so um yeah good brand like they have a good amount of products on their website so all right uh, enough of that Yeah, I really, I just look so weird without hair. It's just crazy, bro. My hair look like a bean. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, look at this place. Yo, we at the gym right now. I did some deadlifts, so we got a, we got to work up to our top set today around like 90%. And then we have our back downs for, I think, six today at 565, something like that. Like five something for six. Not looking forward to that. Not looking forward to that at all, but this is the shit we gotta do. Also, I'm gonna go through some exercises that I incorporated in my deadlift in, in, in order for me to increase my deadlift. Now, that being said, the strength that I have is all me. You feel me? It's all me. Everything that I've done over the years has been no, no, no coaching, just straight, you know, from my knowledge, the things that I've done. I could have been in the 800 pluses by now if I was more dedicated, you know, but you know me, I like to do a whole bunch of other shit. So right now we're still trying to, you know, hit that 800. We're right there, we're that close. I've, I'm being a bit more patient right now uh, instead of trying to PR every week. So that's why you haven't seen me PR yet, but we're still working towards it. Let's go ahead and get started. We had some deadlifts, some yeah, back and shit I'll today. Oh shit. Right here, what? Uh, we'll be in the sevens. Hell yeah. Some your, little bit. 800? Almost 800. Damn. Working towards it. Like five pounds away, or well, 10 pounds away, but you know. You going 800? Oh, uh, nah, nah, nah. Nah, we're taking our time. 
We chilling. So now we're getting up to our uh, top set. I'll probably go up one more time after this. But with that being said, I was on the wrong week when I just looked at my program for my deadlift right now. We have deficits today. Uh, I'll probably be around the 600 range for sets of three. Um, and I'll, have, I'll, be, I'll be standing on two plates. Now the deficits, what's great about these is because it allows more explosiveness from the ground. You're extending the range of motion, therefore making it harder for you coming off the ground but if you think about it once once you're done doing the deficits and you go back to normal the shit feels like you know you're floating off the ground with it so that's one of the main benefits of doing the deficits outside of you know um, the strength training that it provides for you but we got about I think we have four set, uh, I think it was four sets of three from the deficits uh, that's 600 or 605 something like that so we're gonna work with that um, I'm feeling good you know I think we'll be able to get it through uh, deficits is something that I'll I'll do two, two, three times out of the month. Three times out of the month, there's a certain like period. It depends how many times I'm doing deadlifts out of the month or out of the week uh, that I incorporate it into my program. So. First set. See how this feeling right now. Also, when it comes to this, it allows you to understand where your hips are in the lift as well, because proper hip alignment will be crucial for this exercise. If your hips are too high, you're gonna put so much stress on your lower back because you're extending the uh, the range of motion when, you, when we're deadlifting right now. So. Uh, just that's something to think about. So if you feel too much right there, that means once again your hips are high. This is gonna uh, force you to bring your hips down in order to lift the weight. This is even more of a deficit because <laughs> there's dips in this fucking. Hold on, I'm gonna push it up. Fuck. <laughs> Put a towel in between for some more grip because I think that metal on metal, the plate to slide. This is a bit more sturdier. That was hard. That should have been the second set, but it's a set in a quarter. A set. Hey, me and my girl, we've been binge watching Physical 100. You seen that? Physical 100, bro. Watch that shit on Netflix, bro. Huh? It's good. It's fucking. It's hilarious, but it's like, damn. It's like, yeah, but like, like, like bodybuilders, CrossFit athletes. There's like a rugby player. There's a, a Olympian. Like, it's all these like competitors. It's it's wild. Huh? 
in, intense? Yeah, it's intense as hell, bro. I was like, it's just like, damn. And then people you think gonna win something, don't it? It's like, oh shit. Bro, y'all y'all gotta watch that, bro. I hope, I hope they bring that to America or something, because I definitely, I definitely wanna be a part of that, for sure. Ooh, ooh. ooh what was that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Fuck my hands, bro. Hold on, one more second. We got one more. Fuck, bro. Fuck. I'm dying right now. Get it down by. I'm gonna take one more play though. Come on. Off the deficit. We'll just do one. We're focused on a stronger endurance lower back. Endurance meaning that we need our lower back conditioned for heavy weights. You can't just get under heavy weights because you're strong. We need condition. You want to lock out strong. You want to be strong. You want to not have pain. It's these small exercises that add into it. We're going to do some banded. Uh, damn, how am I going to do this? Let's grab a kettlebell because. I don't feel like setting up the bandit. <laughs> so we'll get we'll have four sets of uh, four sets of six to eight. We'll stand or you know six to eight. Four sets six to eight reps. Kill the bell, make sure you come all the way up. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm about to flip over, bro. Oh shit. These are the muscles that are going to help you get that full extension when you're deadlifting. When you're, when you're in that position from that 90 degree, when you get to the knees, these are those muscles that are starting to be more incorporated once you get to those knees. So doing these, having a little pause at the top, just to get a little bit more extra out of it, will be beneficial for everybody. It's gonna suck, it hurts. I hate doing like hyper extensions or anything like that, but at the same time, they're like, you know, I've only hurt my back one time ever out of my whole 15 years, one time. And that was because I was rushing my, uh, my reps, uh, my warm up, training with Pitbull and a lot of other bigger guys. And so, and that was just my, my ego inflation for that day. Because it was hype, there was a crowd, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know, really, I was trying to conserve energy, but I did it the wrong way. And uh, I ended up peaking my back that day. So next up, this is more of a cue for me when it comes to the deadlift. I want to do assisted pull-ups. The reason why I want to do assisted pull-ups is because there is a certain, uh, there's a certain connection I want you to have. Because when you do regular pull-ups, it's going to be hard to do. So you kind of get into a position where, uh, you see how I'm slightly bringing myself up like this, contracting my lats, right? And then on the, the next thing I want to do is as I'm pulling up, is I want to keep my arms at this angle right here. And what we're doing is we're getting that contraction for when we are locking out right here, getting tight and stiff in the lats, keeping those hands out, uh, and we're raising up. You don't want to be flimsy when you're doing the deadlift. Everything wants to be locked in, turning in, locked in, nice and tight. So we're, try we're, we're, we're mimicking that same type of feeling on what you need to be looking for when it comes to deadlifting. Because I've had a history back then of just like pulling the weight. You know when you're not really a deadlifter and you start definitely like you start deadlifting back in the day. I used to just come up and you know I wasn't locking in, I wasn't using my back. I just kind of like 
dead arm and just like pulled up, you know? So now we're focusing on that squeeze. Start from here and then one, two, three. The nice hold at the top. Four. We got a little bit of volume work, but we got some strength work as well. Train the lats and the rectors. Now, say a rector, you'll think mainly lats when it comes to the cable row. But, um, sorry, so we're pulling back when we're doing this. Coming in, we're coming back slightly. We're pulling it, we're pulling it to the belly button. Right, so we pull it in, boom, to the belly button. We don't want it up here, right here. We want it to that belly button, you feel me? So we do four sets, eight reps. Nice and controlled. One tip that I have that helps me when pulling it is my grip is high instead of being in the middle. I grip higher so my thumbs are like like a video game, like you know that Star Wars game and like Dave and Buster's or some shit. Anyways, um, yeah. So this is my grip for when I'm doing my rows. It allows me to pull easier to the belly button. Last exercise. If you're deadlifting and you ever feel that. If you ever feel like you're gonna throw up deadlifting, you need to do this exercise like three times a week. I've sold it to you already before in like, uh, I don't know, like maybe the last five videos. But ab wheels, as you can see, we have a setup right here, 25s on each side. I don't like to use 45s, because like why am I using that much weight? You know, just because they roll, doesn't mean you're still not pushing the weight that it is. So, once again, ab wheels. And th this ties into what we did for the latch. Tighten up those lats. Knees out. This is your this is your end point and starting point. You're already abs engaged. You're not starting back here. We're not doing this. We're not we're not doing that. You start already out. You got set to eight. In one, two. That, that Glock in my lap is, has been on rotation. Rotation, 21 Savage. That's just the, that's the move. All right, y'all, that is it for the extra, bro. Check, bro, look at the, see this shit, bro? I'm losing, I'm losing weight, but I'm not. Like I'm maintaining, but I'm eating a little bit cleaner. Shit looking nice, boy. Looking nice, we're gonna head to the house now. I'm gonna kinda vlog for the rest of the day, show you guys what I do eat. Um, so stay tuned for that. And um, let's get to this video to a thousand likes too, you know, for if you wanna see more of my daily life or if you just want the gym videos. Regardless, 